This is your Cummins 6.7 liter engine. Guys have been braiding airflow using CFM since the dawn of time. Engines back then, they were naturally aspirated. The CFM worked for measuring engine efficiency. But once you start turbocharging, you run into a problem. Let me give it to you very simply. You're inducting 1200 CFM here and you're flowing 400 CFM into the engine. What's up there? Well, what's up is air density changes from air inlet, which is your ambient air density, which is about 72 pounds per thousand cubic feet, to here, where you've compressed the air, say three to one, and now you're down to 400 CFM feeding into the intake manifold. The difference is the air density. The constant here is the air mass flow. When you're compressing the air, you're putting the same air mass that entered the compressor into less cubic feet of air. 